There's our crew girls and our youngsters making their way to the grid where Steve is down there waiting for them. Callan Cooper is on pole position for the Aprilia Super Teen race, Robin. It's his first ever pole position. It's short of a cracking race. Keep your eyes on 55, championship leader Chrissy Rouse. Callum Bay, number 80, is on the fourth row of the grid. He's sure to feature in the top five, though. And look at Ben Luxton. He's on the front row for the first time as well. Robin, back over to you. Thanks very much, Steve. Yes, so many brilliant performances by the youngsters out there. Championship battle, of course, between Chrissy Rouse and Callum Bay. But so much else for these youngsters to go for. Each one of them, with every successive race, wants to put in a better and better performance. Some of them will be moving on to other series for next season. Others will be hoping to be riding next season at the front of an Aprilia Super Team grid. And away they go, packed grid as usual. And into the lead at the start, a fantastic effort, Steve, from number nine, Ben Luxton. Yeah, one of the biggest improvers for 2010, Ben Luxton. And uh, he's been gradually moving his way up. And look at him now leading a race, but he's about to get overtaken. Brilliant on the brakes there from Callan Cooper. And Chrissy Rouse is going to go up to second place as well. Yep. Josh Daly's in the mix. There's Luke Helm, 51. One more Monjo Collier. That's uh, Tom Oliver, 20. So many of these young riders. Uh, taken race wins this year as well but when it comes to points the biggest points gatherer Chrissy Rouse seldom has he failed to finish a race and really in the end that's what championships are made of but Callan Cooper well you mentioned uh, we've mentioned this before Steve Callan Cooper once he took his first win wasn't that many events back but suddenly the huge leap in confidence and he's always been a front runner since then, hasn't he? He has, yeah. The young man from Isle of Man is uh, riding on a lot of confidence at the moment. I've got to mention though, Robin, number 80, Callum Bay from the fourth row is up into the top three already. Amazing stuff. He knows what he's got to do. He's about 50 odd points, maybe more to uh, Chrissy Raz behind and uh, he's got to beat him here. But at the moment, there's no beating Callum Cooper. Number seven, as he heads into Edwin, is ahead of series leader Chrissy Rouse. Ben Luxton still in third, just ahead of the great start from Callum Bate. Yep, Callum still just 12 years old, but uh, he knows the job that needs to be done. And unabashed by that uh, lowly group position, as far as he's concerned, really is riding well. Look at him there around the inside of Shaw's and just uh, carving his way through the pack, Callan Cooper still leads, Chrissy Rice in second, and there, Callum Bay, number 80, up into third. Yeah, there's Josh Daly, the unmistakable uh, Dayglow yellow wheels and helmet, just chasing Jake Dixon there. Jack Keane's not too far behind. Of course, Josh Daly and Jack Keane fighting it out for fourth overall. Jake Dixon's almost done enough to secure third in the championship. Super battle between uh, Jack Keane and uh, Luke Helm side by side there as they approached uh, Gerard's, but at the front, Callan Cooper. Well, this is unusual. We're not uh, used to seeing runaway w winners in the uh, Aprilia Super Teens, and I'm sure these two will have something to say about it. Oh, bit of a twitch there from uh, Josh Daly, but he's terribly quick into Edwin as he's right on the case of Jake Dixon. Yeah, Ben Luxton has just been bullied a little bit out of uh, the top three or four there. But this is a good experience for him going into next year because he's not been at the sharp end. He's now finding out how ruthless some of these riders are. And that'll hold him in good stead for 2011, I think. Yep. It's uh, extremely rare that you see contact in the Prelia Super Teams, but they are certainly as tough as the older riders about holding and maintaining their track position. And of course, that's what you need to do always force the guys behind to take the longer way round. There we see Ben Luxton chasing after Josh Daly in fifth and sixth at the moment. And there Charlie Oakland, number 19, one of our lady riders. Yeah, Chrissy Rouse then, championship leader, has had a phenomenal year. He's 15 years old today, so uh, it'd be a great present if he could clinch the crown here. He needs to do a little bit more than uh, finish just one or two places ahead of... Uh, Callum Bay, who's just having a little sneaky look there. There's Jake Dixon a bit further back. Josh Daly, who looks so quick through Edwin, as you just mentioned earlier. Yep, Josh there chasing hard and also working hard to keep Ben Luxton uh, behind him. There we see number five, George Stanley. George just ahead of James Hobson there. And 194, Robin Lindsay, another of the uh, girl riders out there. Yeah, you can't miss Robin now with her new pink leathers. Uh, good to see 
her out there, she's really been improving, but Callan Cooper at the front is away with it. Great battle though between championship leader and uh, second place in the championship, Callum Bay, fighting it out a little bit further back here for fourth and fifth. That's Jake Dixon, 35, and Josh Daly again. Yeah, one thing I think it's really good to see in it, Steve, that look at these two. Callum Bay just chopping across the bows of Chrissy Rice there. They've been at it like knives the entire season. The championship really has for a long while been between these two, but it just never gets silly. They do keep it honest and uh, they can ride as close as you like, but great to see. Yeah, they started off the season as teammates, remember, as well, so they know each other pretty well. And uh, there is a lot of mutual respect between the two of them, which is good to see from youngsters. And uh, this series, of course, for 12 to 18 year olds. And we've got number 80, 12 year old Callum Bay with uh, 15 year old Chrissy Rouse. He's so quick, isn't he? Into Gerrard's Chrissy. Yep. Just carries the speed. Looking at me all the way around the outside of that corner there. A little further back, we see. Um, that's uh, Marcus Tatchell, number 18 going through a rider who's uh, just taken to the saddle of the Superstock 600 machine as well. Again, you'll be able to see him in action in the uh, two-hour Thundersport GB program on Motor TV. But this is the battle for second on screen. And Chrissy Rouse, series leader, chucks it up the inside of Callum Bay again. Yep. Superb manoeuvre. Once again, Callum giving him just enough space to keep it uh, safe. And then Callum, this is where he's so quick, isn't he? Out of the elbow and down towards the start-finish line. And he gets almost alongside Chrissy Rouse there. That could matter when it comes to the last lap, Steve. It could matter, yeah, because that slingshot out of the bus stop could just get Callum Bay um, a few more points than Chrissy Rouse. We just saw a little bit further back there. Luke Thackeray, brother of Jamie Thackeray, is uh, having a good weekend in the points this weekend. But uh, can't take anything away from Callum Cooper at the front. He's not even seeing very much of him because this fascinating battle for second, which is, of course, for the championship. Yeah, Callum Cooper just set the fastest lap of the race as well but uh, yes Chrissy Rice there's Callum Chrissy Rice and uh, Callum Bay there's Robin Lindsay the battle for second and third will soon be uh, coming up just behind her as she runs down towards the bus stop here's Callum Cooper then your race leader He's about five, six seconds clear of second and third at the moment. Here they are, Chrissy Rouse currently just ahead of Callum Bay. It's England versus Scotland here for the championship. Chrissy Rouse with the white leathers and the St George's Cross and then Callum Bay and we're going on to the last lap and this is anyone's. Yeah, so much to play for him. Callum Bay so quick off the elbow and he can't quite carry the speed through into the beginning of Gerrard's but there Robin Lindsay's on the road ahead of him so they do have to be careful now. As we've said before, when it gets to this stage of the season and the tight end of a championship, you have to be extra careful. Nobody can afford to not finish a race as Callum Bay and Chrissy Rouse continue their vain chase now of number seven, Callum Cooper, in the lead. Well, it looks like it's Rouse's at the moment and it's a good place to be leading from. A couple of bike lengths lead there as they head into the S's. So Callum Bay really only has probably one shot at this up in towards the hairpin. It looks like number seven, yeah, Callum Cooper's going to take the win. But who's going to get second place? It looks like uh, Rouse's favourite. Well, down they come. And there to the check and flag goes Callum Cooper. Another excellent win for him. But look at the battle behind Chrissy Rouse and Callum Bay. And it's almost side by side to the line. But Callum's going to nick it. Chrissy ran right out to the white line there. But uh, across the line, Callum Bay just grabs second behind Callum Cooper. Jake Dixon's fourth, Josh Daly fifth, Ben Luxton sixth. What a race for the Aprilia Super Team Challenge yet again. And there we see Callum Cooper, Callum Bay and Chrissy Rouse, the one, two, three. In the Nitro newcomers, Callum Cooper again from Callum Bay and Jake Dixon. That's the one, two, three. Callum Cooper from pole position, you took the lead, never looked back and a new lap record. Uh, just tell us about how you feel about that race. It went amazing. I couldn't, I couldn't do any better. I tried my best, and I don't know how I got the lap record. That lap record has stood since uh, last year, Danny Murphy, a 101.4. You just got a 101.1. I mean, were you aware of your lead? I looked behind the odd time, and I could see that I had a bit of lead, but I didn't, I didn't know how much, really. Well, it's great to have you up here on the top step again, and I'm sure we're going to see plenty more of you. Well done. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you next year.